Right now I'm going to show you how to make the mm -mm mimosa. To build, we're going to start with our half ounce of pomegranate liqueur. Then going to add five ounces of orange juice. Uh, and then we're going to finish it off with five ounces of our new sparkling. All we do is garnish with an orange wedge for our uh, cooler months and it'll be a strawberry slice in our warmer months. Uh, and then we're going to let our guests enjoy. Hi, I'm Paul Capazzoli and I'm a business development engineer with Keysight Technologies. I've worked in digital design systems for over 20 years. I'd like to cover a few tips to allow you to make better power rail measurements. The real need is to be able to zoom into the millivolt level with the lowest possible probe and scope noise. It's critical to have a low noise measurement system. Tip number one, use a one-to-one -one probe and a 50 ohm input path to the scope. A one-to-one -one probe does not magnify the noise seen with a 10-to-1 probe. A 10 to 1 probe can provide as much as 90% more noise, which actually masks your actual signal you're trying to analyze. Also, the scope input termination plays a critical role in ensuring accurate measurements. A 50 ohm path is always cleaner. My name is Wolfgang and today I'm going to tell you how to check the oil level in your car. It's very easy and it's very critical for your car self to have a good amount of oil so that's what I'll be teaching you today. So preparing for this is very simple. You're just going to need some nice uh, decently thick paper towels and just look inside of your uh, car's engine manual to find out where your oil dipstick is and once you know those two things and have these then you'll be good to go. So once you've located your oil dipstick all you're going to do is pull it out of your engine you're going to take your cloth and wipe it off and get all the residual oil off of there and then stick your dipstick all the way back into your engine and you're going to pull it out again and then you should see down here your oil's coming up and mine is in these cross hatches which means that it's right in the perfect amount of oil and that it's good to go so the most important takeaways are uh, make sure that you clean it off before you check the level make sure that you insert it all the way fully back into your car to get an accurate reading and to make sure that you just check it regularly to make sure that you're not running low in oil which could be disastrous for your engine.